Well, from the skies to the streams, mosquito fish are now being offered in one Valley County as another tool to fight growing mosquito populations. Appropriate name, right? Yeah. Mosquito fish. Those fish clear out mosquitoes anywhere there's standing water. And we sure have a lot of it this year. Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco tells us how and where you can get them. Madera County residents, listen up, this one's for you. Fox 26 Chief Photojournalist Burt Montalongo spoke with the Madera County Mosquito Vector Control District today. It's giving away a bucket full of mosquito fish as it expects to season a kickoff strong. They may be small, but the fish you see here can help reduce the mosquito population. They're not a perfect solution, but they do help out keeping the numbers down. As mosquito season begins, the Madera County Mosquito Vector District is kicking off its yearly giveaway, a bucket full of mosquito fish available for Madera County residents. Mosquito fish come in handy because we have to treat uh, a lot of uh, sources that stand longer than a month within our county. And swimming pools, uh, natural ponds, people's bird baths, fountains. They're called mosquito fish for a reason. They're mosquito eating fish. They eat the eggs mosquitoes lay in standing water, effectively eliminating the biting bugs before they can bite you. Initially, we think that we're gonna have high numbers of mosquitoes early in this season, but once it gets hot here in the valley, all of the excess water will get cooked off by the sun and we'll pretty much be dealing with the same amount of sources that we deal with every season. Operation Supervisor Trinidad Reyes says his department spotted at least 12 to 15 different kinds of mosquitoes in the city and county of Madeira. We know for sure that we have uh, one invasive species called Aedes aegypti, and that's a predominantly a, a container breeding mosquito. Those, he says, are the ankle biters. It predominantly wants to come and feed on humans. So uh, humans is its most favored blood meal, and it will breed within any type of standing water within a residential area. So it could be PG&E vaults, um, lawn drains, dog bowls, flower pot saucers, anything that gets water freshly put in it regularly. One tip he shares to combat mosquitoes, get rid of any standing water. He also says you might want to keep an eye out for any leaks that are creating puddles in the yard that can cause mosquitoes to lay eggs there too. Another thing you want to scrub and keep your pets bowl clean if you have them outdoors, Liz Monte. And especially when people, you know, they want to leave the water out there and you don't think about the fact that yeah. mosquitoes can potentially breed there. Decorative ponds, even a, a, a bottle or a can. I mean, the, enough water can collect for them to breed. There's the bottle cap is what we've heard for so yeah. long. All right, thanks so much, Myra. Araya says that every year they purchase at least 40 pounds of fish and release them into several ponds in Madera County. To request your bucket full of fish, you can find all those details. It's up on our website at kmph.com.